So th this is more a, a, a conversation to get feedback of what is more important uh, for us to continue doing on RTLA. The, <coughs> the RTLA is a, is a meta tool that includes a set of commands that we have to analyze the, the properties of the real-time Linux. <coughs> it was presented as a... Then you need to talk with people in the the audio. Uh, all the the previous one was like this. It's not so the RTLA. I presented it as a as a proof of concept last year at the Plumbers, and we it made its way to the kernel. <clears throat> the idea is is to get together uh, a good interface or an easy to use interface for the tracers to the analysis of latencies. Uh, on the real-time kernel, like the timer lot or the OS noise, and, and, and put together a more digestible output. In, in, in other words, the idea of these tracers is to, <clears throat> to get the knowledge of an expert analyzing the tracings of the kernel and put it in an interface that everybody can use. And, and the importance of this is that with the, the merge of the Prem30 um, around the corner, we will probably have uh, more people interested on, on trying and debugging the real-time kernel because the real-time kernel will be everybody's problem, not only a, a small community. And uh, so just to have an idea, these, these two here, <clears throat> it's timer lot top, and it measures the, it measures the latency of the thread and IRQ in the timer, and it reports it but it also uh, helps to collect the trace and provide trace output. I'll show more of that later. And uh, <clears throat> another tool is the West Noise Top that I, I presented uh, this morning. And, uh, <clears throat> and so uh, the, the, the timer lot, it, it works well, but it, it has uh, one limitation, which is, uh, is it Steven here? Okay, th th this was a question for Steve. Uh, so when it, it any, the, the way that the timer lot trace works is that it schedules a timer in the future. When the IRQ raises, it, it prints an IRQ uh, latency, and then it wakes up a thread and prints the, the thread latency. Similar to what cyclic test does, but including more information from the IRQ context. <clears throat> and, uh, and now what happens is that we have in the in, in kernel, we have, <coughs> sorry, <clears throat> we have these events <clears throat> that we collect via trace interface. And these events are trace, are F-trace uh, events. They are not trace points. And, and one of the problems is that, uh, is, you see, it's like a, a function graph tracer. And one of the problems is that when you have like very large systems, uh, like uh, more than 100 CPUs, and uh, with a period of uh, an, uh, 100, uh, I say nanoseconds, but microseconds, we start overflowing the, the trace buffer and we cannot make it up to collect and, and print uh, the data on OS not on, on Tiberlet. And uh, on OS Noise Tracer, we don't have this problem because we can uh, use um, the histograms, uh, features on the trace. And so we do all the histograms uh, in, in kernel. And, uh, and we cannot do uh, histograms here because these are not trace points. These are, trace, uh, are outputs of a tracer. And if we look in the F-Trace interface, we don't have, do not have like the the trigger option here. So I cannot enable histograms. And uh, this would be something that I, I need to, to to discuss with Steven. But I, I would do it short to, to give time to um, to Frederick to discuss about it. If you have interest on this part of infrastructure on trace and have time to help us on this, um, keep, yeah, ping me and, and I can help on that. That's something that, that we need to fix. <clears throat> Another thing of interest is try to integrate uh, the hardware lot tracer with RTLA. So we can do together the timer lot tracer that is like cyclic test, 
but reserve a CPU for us to collect hardware noise. And uh, <clears throat> even more than one CPU for the SMI uh, thing, like the hardware lot, because I've seen that uh, even, I mean, there, there might be something that's triggered when you run the SMI detection on right. multiple CPUs. Yeah. yeah. Just make it, I don't know, general. The one yeah, that, that's that, that's possible. Yeah. So the idea would be would be to have like the timer lot tracer working together with hardware lot, so we can detect uh, latencies caused by the operating system and by the hardware. Because we usually see those two things together many times, like uh, when debugging customers at Red Hat, and having both together, we can save us time. Instead of running two tools in different times, we can have a, a tool uh, reporting it. And, and the idea is of the tool is to actually do this kind of automation. Uh, another thing that I would like to add to Timerlot is supporting trace that uh, files, which are files from uh, trace command. Uh, now what happens is that when Timerlot is tracing and we find a latency, it saves the trace output to a file. <clears throat> but this is just a text file. It's easy to read, but I cannot do uh, more automation that I can do with trace uh, that. For example, <clears throat> When with, with support of a uh, trace that, that file, we'll be able to, to run multiple uh, trace instances and run uh, the timer lot, which is a tracer, and the function tracer on another CPU and merge them together. And that, that's another feature uh, that uh, we plan to add to, to timer lot. And it shouldn't be hard. And uh, and, and, and finally, uh, all this tooling was created uh, based on the motivation of the, the RTSL, which is the tool <clears throat> that I created to, to get the formally proof scheduling latency, monitoring the events of the preemption, the preemption model. Uh, and, and let's say that, that tool was not merged yet here on, on RTLA, but uh, the timer lot in OS noise already using part of that infrastructure. And so I, 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 I say this internally at Red Hat that uh, that tracer was La Ferrari, while this, uh, the timer lot is the Fiat 500. La Ferrari was the nice proof of concept, but at the end of the day, we all use a Fiat 500 to go to work, at least in Italy. So it's more useful for now. And the, another problem of the RTSL is that uh, it will depend on the usage of trace points that are not always enabled like the preempt, preempt uh, disable and preempt enable. And there are some problems that we report on the WIP uh, monitor on RV. But once, once that uh, gets figured out, that problem with the trace points, uh, my idea is to add the RTSL inside the timer lot. But that's it. The, this should be a, a longer presentation, but I'm shortening it to give space to, to Frederick for him to discuss the, the software queue issues. If you have interest on RTLA, or if you want to discuss some of these topics, uh, please ping me or discuss it in the discuss it in the trace uh, devel uh, mailing list, and uh, all the help is welcome with RTLA. There are a lot of, uh, of features to be added, and uh, we'll be glad to integrate them. And thanks, Fred.